Hey homeowners, I'm 90% sure that one of these common problems, and their easy fixes, will get your AC running again. In this video, I'm only showing things you can safely check and fix yourself. First, check the furnace door. If it's not tightly shut, a safety switch will stop the system from turning on. Open the door, then close it firmly until you hear a click. That switch must be pressed in for the system to work. There's usually an emergency power switch on the wall near the indoor unit. It looks like a light switch. Sometimes it gets turned off by accident when someone's cleaning or moving stuff. Flip it back on. Be careful. Some switches are installed upside down, so on might look like off. Next, check your electrical panel. A breaker might have tripped. Find the one labeled AC or air conditioner. Turn it off, then back on again. If you have a disconnect box near your outdoor unit, it may have blown fuses inside. That can happen after a power surge or lightning. Next, if your AC's drain line is clogged, water builds up and trips a safety switch. That shuts off your whole system to prevent damage. Look for water in the drain pan or a small float switch that's popped up. Use a small brush, compressed air, or a shop vac to clear the line. After cleaning, pour a bit of water into the line to make sure it flows freely out of the house. Your thermostat might look like it's working, but if the batteries are low, it can't send the right signal to your AC. Look for a flashing battery symbol. Replace with good quality batteries. I recommend Duracell or Energizer. If replacing the batteries didn't help, your thermostat face might be bad. To test, remove the front of the thermostat and use a short wire to jump between the R and Y terminals. If the outdoor unit turns on, then your thermostat face is faulty and needs replacing. You can also try jumping R to G. That should turn on the indoor fan. There's a small fuse inside the furnace that protects your control board and transformer. If there's a short, like a chewed thermostat wire, this fuse blows and shuts down everything. Look for a burnt spot on the fuse. Replace it with the same size and amp rating. Most are 3 or 5 amp fuses, and some systems use cylinder style fuses too. If the new fuse blows again right away, stop and call a technician. You have a deeper wiring issue. If you've tried all of these and the AC still won't turn on, it might be something like a bad capacitor, damaged or chewed wires, or loose thermostat connections inside the wall. These need a pro, so don't risk it. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if it helped, and subscribe for more home tips.